Well, hello and welcome. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at the Intel Arc A750. Uh, the reason we have this here today is uh, this past weekend was the Diablo 4 closed beta. My wife's machine was struggling to keep up with it at 1440p, so we decided it was time to upgrade her computer. She currently has an Intel i7-4770 paired with an NVIDIA 970 GPU. Uh, so that's definitely getting long in the tooth and it was probably definitely time for her to get an upgrade. Uh, so I went ahead and chose the Intel Arc A750. For one, uh, they have the drivers in a good place now. The software to support and everything is where it needs to be. Um, and it's actually just getting better and better as time goes on. And it's in a place now, uh, driver-wise, that I felt comfortable putting this in my wife's machine so she can just install her games and just go play and not have to worry about, um, you know, game bugs or anything uh, popping up uh, very often. So that was a cool plus. And on top of... Not only that, but being the best like price performance uh, card for two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars, you're not gonna find a better card than this. Sorry, not happening. Um, so that's that. Uh, we're also pairing that with an Intel, uh, sticking with the Intel theme. Pairing that with an Intel i5 13400 F. The 13400 F uh, does come with a fan. That's one of the other reasons I chose this particular uh, version. It does have the Alder Lake cores. Although there's four extra cores over the uh, 12400F, so it's still a 13th gen part. Uh, there is a variant that has Raptor Lake cores. They're basically the same. Uh, they're in within, you know, margin of error and all the benchmarks I looked at. So this, I'm really happy with this. This will be an awesome uh, CPU. It's priced very well. Uh, it's going to be excellent for gaming. It's going to be excellent for productivity. Very happy with that part. Uh, and then, sticking with the Intel theme, once again, we went ahead and chose an Intel SSD. Uh, this was actually the best uh, price performance I could find uh, for $50 for one terabyte in the me drive. Uh, it's got, you know, write speeds were good. So, went ahead and went with that. And Intel, you know, of course, makes good uh, SSDs. So, they make some of the best in the world. So, that's awesome. Uh, and not only that, but the processor... Uh, I got from Newegg. They sent this little cool Intel screwdriver that looks like a pen. So that is super awesome. Uh, that being said, uh, my first impressions of the Intel Arc uh, when I took it out of the box was like, wow, the aesthetics on this is amazing. Uh, it's a very clean design. Um, they they put a lot of thought and effort into just the packaging, um, not only the design of the graphics card and the drivers and everything else. Uh, so they've went all in on uh, on these GPUs. So very excited to open the lid on this and see what it looks like, which we'll do here in a minute. Uh, from there, we'll go ahead and uh, assemble all this, uh, install the OS. We'll run some benchmarks. Uh, once uh, that's all happening, I'll uh, give some final thoughts on the whole process there and um, how the system's performing. Uh, and that should be the video. So let's go ahead and open the lid on this and get to assembling. Cool.
This build went very well. Let's take a look at 13400F's performance. As we can see here in the Cinebench R23 benchmark, the single core scored 1760, and the multi core, we got a score of 14146. This is in line with expectations, although was expecting just a bit higher on the multi core score. Let's move on to the GPU and see how it fares in a couple benchmarks. Running Final Fantasy XIV's Endwalker benchmark, it gets a score of 15803 at 1440p resolution. Performance level, extremely high. Also note, this benchmark does utilize DirectX 11. One should have no issues playing this game on this setup at 1440p using high settings. Now on to our second benchmark, 3D Marks Speedway, which does utilize DirectX 12. Ended up with a score of 2375. Once again, in line with expectations, though this time on the higher end. Very pleased with this result. Had a great time building this machine. The uh, improvements over at my wife's old machine was fast. She was able to play Diablo 4 at medium to high settings at 1440p with no lag whatsoever and the game looked great. This should be the case for future games as well. The ARC A750 does a very good job at medium to high settings at 1440p in most titles that we've played so far. I hope you guys had a good time watching this video and hope to see you around.